So my my first segment is called uh, Mad Libs segment. Oh. And I have a book of Mad Libs here. Here, look at this book. World's Greatest Word Game. Pretty oh, cool. Sick. The color is pink of the book. Okay, so I mean, we can wondering. see it, but I guess that's, yeah. that's descriptive for the yeah, audience yeah. at home. So, um, so I think uh, instead of doing like Mad Libs the normal way, I think we should uh, discuss and uh, decide upon a single word that we should put in for every single blank wow. with the proper word, proper word form. You know, we can verbify wow. and nounify, whatever. This isn't Mad Libs. So something that is. Something that is able to transform into almost every type of... The ditto of words. Of Maybe words. a good word. A good word would be, you know, a funny word, a versatile word. Uh, I'm going to lobby pretty hard for but. Well, that's sort no, but, of... But then that's get tricky because what is of a verb? Like what? To butt in. or butterfly. Butterfly? Yeah, dude, butterfly. What don't you understand about the word butterfly? Um, no, I got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Dan, my one. So this is not Mad Libs. This is Mad Lib. You know, we're only. No, this is one. Mad Libs. This is Mad Libs. Well, but I. But did you see what I did there? Um, <laughs> he's only choosing one word. Is it just me or Jimmy Fallon? Sometimes does Mad Libs on his show. Are you guys familiar with the Jimmy Fallon show? A little bit, yeah. Dude. I don't think Mad Libs are that funny, and I think this is a good twist on it, Dan. I don't want to hate on your twist. Yeah. But for yeah. the reg- regular Mad Libs, so I'm glad you retwisted it, because I think regular Mad Libs are simply, they're just like, let's put silly words. for younger words. people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, back when you had worse, worse, uh, uh senses of humor, you do a little Mad Libs and you're cracking up, you know? Yeah. You're like, ha ha. Summer camp. That's what that was. There's no such thing as a, as a, as a, as a wrench arm. That's not a thing. Silly Mad Libs. Um, what? The doctor said he has a problem with the, with the TV? What? That's not a doctor's job. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I don't know All if right, it is. let's do it. Um, yeah, let's hit it up. Dan, what's the, can you give us the category? What do you mean? Yeah, what's it called? Give us, like, the section header, the, uh... Oh, you know. of the, of the mat, of, of the, the one I'm looking yeah. at? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have I have one that's just goofy Mad Libs, and I have one that's Napoleon Dynamite Mad Libs. Which Holy one do we want? shit. Napoleon <laughs> Dynamite, this indie movie <laughs> sold out to Mad Libs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but what's the title of the um, the specific story you chose? That's what I'm saying. I haven't, cho- I haven't chosen one yet. Napoleon oh, chosen Dynamite, for sure, dude. Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay, should I just pick a... a re- uh, let's see. A throwback. There's a whole book of M- N- Napoleon Dynamite ones. Okay, this is what's crazy. I bet you Napoleon Dynamite made more money on the Mad Libs than on the theatrical release of the film. <laughs> Probably. All right, how about Fashion 101? Wow. Perfect. Perfect, yeah. Um, oh, so, so now we just have to think so, of a word. So, so but. you're not, oh, not right. going to prompt us. <laughs> okay, um, so listen, here's my case against but. Yeah. Um, Mad Libs is already a type of comedy for the lesser person. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that, <laughs> I think but brings it down further. It's I really, think it okay. elevates it. It's really well, low, low. So instead of but, like, how about, like, um, a fancier word, like tush? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> tush is pretty funny. Plus then the, Wait, the, adjective, the adjective of tush is tushy. I think oh, tushy tush is the work. same as tush. It's just tushy. Well, then know? what's the adjective of tush? Tushish. Tushish. Tush-like. <laughs> I'm going to smoke some tushish. Oh, um, nice. <laughs> um, let's, I agree with Gracie. It's already very bottom of the barrel type thing. I mean, suggest a word. Like, I'm the only one who is, I guess Charlie suggested tush, but that was kind of biting off mine. No, no, I, I agree. I think we should just have a quick brainstorm and okay. throw out maybe one or two words. That's what we're doing. Throw out, throw it out. Um, how about snap? Snap? No. Yeah, like you can awesome. snap, and there's a snap, and snap. You can snap. At snap, someone. crackle, pop. Snap sounds like a disaster to me, but I mean, 
Yeah. You like you know you know I wanted butt, so so feel free to <laughs> well, disregard Dan, my opinion. If, if you wanted the segment to just be you saying the word butt over and over again, yeah. maybe next week. Right. But <laughs> you open it up to the group. That's true. How about woof? Pop, are you saying something to me? Yeesh. Okay, cool. Well, we'll have to edit that out. Friggin' dad. <laughs> <laughs> My friggin' dad, Bro, man. Bro, Dan's house. Yeah. <laughs> How guys, did you guys like meeting Eric? It was nice of your dad to bring us snacks for recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, don't, don't choke on that. I won't. I think it's up to Dan to choose anything but butt. <laughs> yeah, Dan, we've, we've made a lot of suggestions. And you know what? I think it's up to you, baby. Tiddlywink. Um, that wasn't, like, one of the ones we suggested, <laughs> oh, but I, I it guess. Oh, it had to be one of the ones you suggested? I guess not. Yes. Well. Well, I'm going to veto that. <laughs> I just don't think that's, uh, that's just an automatopoeia. Like, Tiddlywink? Absolutely before. not. Tiddlywink is the opposite. It's not a, what, what makes the noise tiddlywink? A, Good point. Like a fun, However, like a fairy makes the word tiddly no, when it casts no, like a, no. a riddle That's spell. That's not true. You're mixing. Okay. Anyway, I think Dan, you should choose a word that can be not just that type based. of sentiment. Based. Uh, what were the words you guys? Based is pretty based. good. Base is good. I like base. Let's do base. Because you can do b a s t e or b a s e d. B a oh yeah. based. I was only thinking of the first one. Let's do. Oh, yeah. What does based mean? Like when you uh, like a turkey beast. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Like got when it. you like hot cover like a, something yeah. with water and shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, that seems great to me, and I vote that we just kind of hit that up. Let's do it. Let's do it, Dan. Hit us up with that Napoleon Dynamite. Are you gonna write them all in? No, I'm just gonna. Use... I'm gonna freestyle. <laughs> okay, it. great. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Passion 101. People were always saying I could be a baster model, but I didn't know a thing about fashion or basting. So, so in order to in order to bring my my inner baster out, to bring oh, out my inner okay. baster, I made an appointment with Glamour Shots by Deb. What a basting experience! She. How is this Napoleon Dynamite related? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen the movie in a while. Wow. The, is it uh, done? No, she picked out clothing for oh. my different looks: carefree, serious, and basteful. Yep. After dressing me <laughs> in a basty tube top and placing a baster in my hair. We went. Dan, you do what everybody does when they read Mad Libs, which is you pause a little <laughs> bit right before like the goofy words <laughs> for like dramatic effect. Yeah, and just like so, I went to the Funyun store. Well, here, you want to read it? No, no, no. You read it. No, Your I segment. insist. You read, you read it. it. No, 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 no. You read it. <laughs> okay. Um... We went to the set. She placed my arm under my baster and told me to imagine myself in the baster surrounded by basty seahorses. Based, she said. <laughs> Are you sure you've never done this before? You're an absolute based fiend. Once my... Based fiend? I put a little spice to it, okay? It said noun. Oh, okay, it good. It said yeah. noun. Add the sugar. But Add I needed, sugar. I wanted it to be a noun you would call someone. Once my basters are developed, I'm planning to submit them to several basting agencies. And Napoleon's Uncle Rico said he'd love to be my manager. So that's the yeah. only <laughs> Napoleon time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Hol no, no, wait. Wait, what? I remember what this is referring to now in the movie. Yeah. Oh, what it's is it? It's when when Uncle Rico gets his head shot and the girl is like it's like in her basement or something and her basement. She's like taking pictures <laughs> of him. Her basement. And and she's like taking pictures of him and she's like I, I can't remember exactly, but oh, she's kind of ordering Yeah, him I to think do I shit. know what you're talking. Yeah. It's a weird Man. movie. It's a weird one. I want to yes, be a rapper, a but I want to be based God, you know? 
<laughs> Not a good joke. <laughs> Not um, a joke. But thanks for. We good on this segment? Thanks for Are we good crushing here? my dreams. Or do you want to finish? Do I want to finish? It's done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were some like that created some some innuendos. With yeah, that based. inner based. Inner, yeah. <laughs> Like, draw your baster out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It also, like, because basting something is, like, inherently saucy, it felt, <laughs> it felt like a very thick... Also, mad-like. the natural shape of a turkey baster oh, came yeah. to mind. Oh, yeah. Phallic. <laughs> yeah. Phallic. So, we chose a good yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. Good work, <laughs> Thanks, dude. Nice job. Um, I'm glad I wasn't butt. I think that would but have the been first one, too many. Butt model? That'd be hilarious. I, for like a six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is a little highbrow for six-year-olds. A little mature content. But but sure, maybe for you, Charlie. 